<laughs> this fucker. I'm just kidding. He's not a fucker. Holy shit! I don't even know what I want to do. Do I want to review his face? Do I want to review his entire face? No, you know what? Fuck it. Let me... Human review... Ugh. Human reviews is not a thing. It's not, and I have to remind myself of that. But let me just try to gather all of my wandering spirits and put this video together. Also, I know that I look a mess. I'm about to go to the gym in a couple of hours, so I'm just like, you know, you know what I mean? And um, what is my life? So this is how the week started. <laughs> so I found Shadow Hunters. I don't know, actually, if any one of you beautiful viewers and subscribers of mine had already suggested Shadow Hunters to me, but I do remember my clearest memory of ever hearing of Malik was during the time uh, that there was an e-network poll for the best couple or whatever, and then Malik and Eva came head to head uh, for the very top spot. And there was a legitimate <laughs> gymnastic of words and wars and typewriting skills that uh, exploded on the internet because the Malik fans and the Eva fans couldn't find common ground. I, however, have met some people that were fans of both at the time, though. I never dabbled with the Maliks. I stuck with the Evox with the scums, and I was pretty happy with that. Um, I saw tidbits uh, of Malik, and for some reason, I wasn't too enticed by it. I just, I was, I was a silly person. I'm a changed person now. So yeah, I didn't really, uh, I didn't try to experience Shadow Hunters. Also, those types of shows don't exactly fall into the category of what I find. Uh, is worth watching or substantial enough to hold my interest for of uh, uh, an entire season, so much as like an entire episode, if that makes sense. So, um, I, I just didn't, you know, look into it. I was never really into shows like that. I didn't look into it. And then I lost probably half of my life, because then I never discovered Malik until months later, like I said, the, the, the start of this week. How did I start watching Malik videos? I do not know. Oh no, I do, oh fuck, here's what ha I'm realizing this. Is this entertaining for you? Because I'm sorry, <laughs> if not. So my best friend came over uh, to stay the week, not this week, he like last week, he was here for an entire week. Sorry. And during that time we were talking about Scum because he had, he had yet to see the fourth season, so he watched the entire fourth season, and then we got to talking about like our favorite OTPs. I think he mentioned Alexandra Daddario. Uh, the, the hot babe. <laughs> Do not objectify women. The very talented actress <laughs> from Baywatch, who is just, she really is, she's a vision. And I remember saying, oh yeah, I think she's super attractive. And at the time, we didn't know this, my best friend didn't know this either, I guess we were both misinformed. He introduced Alec, Alex, not Alex, his name is Matthew. He introduced Matthew Daddario to me as Alexandra Daddario's twin brother. Immediately, I was intrigued. I was like, twin brother, a male with a face? <laughs> okay, so I was like, Matthew Daddario, let's, let's Google. Let's go on the Google. So we went on the Google. Like I said, I saw bits of Malik and Shadowhunter during the E! Network poll. I knew they were good looking. Harry Shum Jr. is quite the sight. And then he was kissing this other dude that looked kind of Middle Eastern Italian and I thought oh yeah also very delicious but it was nothing that really again it didn't hold my attention for very long I'm about to like show you the Google images that come up when you search for Matthew Daddario right hold on oh shit I just spelled <laughs> I just spelled it wrong. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the Dario Matthew. I'm sorry. Mom. I'm just kidding. My mom doesn't watch this. She doesn't even know what the internet is. Which really is a blessing to me. So you go on Google, right? And you search for Matthew Daddy. <laughs> Matthew Dario. And you get this bullshit right here. Wait. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? I didn't even have to scroll that far. They greet you with this face. So I see this face, I'm like, that's a beautiful face. <laughs> I like uh, the face. I think from there, that's when I slowly, like very gradually, 
um, went on YouTube and then tried to look up Matthew Daddario. Obviously, the most accessible of his work is Shadow Hunters. It's recent, and he's starring in it, so there's a lot of him, and we all want a lot of him. I go on there, watch Shadow Hunters. I watch just the Malik cuts because I, I. Again, no offense, but just the. It's the Shadowhunters as a whole is not really the kind of show that I get into. Um, I'm not gonna, uh, but 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 but, I will say this: the actors are quite good in the roles that they play. I mean, in the few scenes that I have seen, and Malik, Malik, that was the weakest mic drop of all mic drops. It's an expensive mic, so I can't really like drop it on the floor. As for the show itself, I mean, there is a new season. I think. Right now, as I'm filming this, uh, the season finale is about to happen next week uh, because episode 19, season 2, was released yesterday, Monday, or Tuesday. I'm not even... Okay, fuck me. However, uh, there is a new season that's about to come out that will be... That's anticipated to be released um, sometime in 2018, so maybe I'll get into that. Because I already kind of know the gist of what has happened in season one, season two, so for me to repeat watching those things, especially since I watched all the Valley parts like way too much, and there's a lot of development there between the two of them, as well as cute interactions, it would be kind of useless for me to like re-watch, re -watch everything. So I will try to get into the third season. If you guys want a reaction of that like next year, or you're still with me next year and you want a reaction of that, I'd be more than happy to oblige. I also have like, this is no longer with a Matthew Daddario anymore, but like very quickly, I just want to tell you guys that um, some of the other new footage that I have involves a lot of indie films here in the Philippines. It's something that I am not, I don't really frequent. Like I don't frequently watch a lot of local media, a lot of local uh, movies, but so far uh, this year, a lot of development has happened in the movie industry here in the Philippines, just like in terms of quality and writing. Like, they've really stepped up their game, and I'm so proud of that. And I have a few recommendations and reviews that I would like to put forth as a result of having seen some of these films, and I hope that you enjoy those as well. Now back to Daddy. <laughs> the thing about Malik that I am so encaptured by, okay, is the sassiness and the chemistry. You know, like, I don't, well, actually, I don't know if you know, but... You'll know now that one of my major things in like OTPs is chemistry. If it is palpable, if it is, if it is something that is just there and you can't avoid it, and that's something that some, a lot of times you can't fake. Um, this is also the reason why I can't really. One of the popular OTPs would have to be like Philcus, right, from Eyewitness, and I could never really get into that because for some reason like it felt very forced every time, and also the show itself. Again, did not really hold my interest for very long, or at all. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but with Shadowhunters, with Malik, right? They're both so good at what they do. Like, Harry Shum Jr., I would have never expected for him to play such an amazing Magnus. Now I'm just turning this into a thing where, oh, no, I'm not here to just, like, gush over Matthew Daddario. Because I'm not that much of a stan. Like, I don't really follow them in social media. That's not true. I follow Matthew on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, but I just followed him recently. Oh my god! Oh my god! The police are here to get me! Although I am a fan of social media every now and then, I'm not really one to like continuously track people. Like, I don't have notifications for whenever John Krasinski tweets, you know what I mean? So it's, I'm a casual social media person. Um, so I don't know a lot, a lot about them. I just know um, of their personal rela relationships, uh, romantic relationships that has been, uh, they've been transparent about, I think, from the very beginning, like Matthew having a girlfriend and Harry Shum Jr. being married. Actually, I just learned about that last night, but still, the more you learn. In any case, um, what was it? My point is that, <laughs> my point is that they look like genuine friends. They look like they're genuinely fond of each other because, um, Although I don't stalk them on social media, I love watching interviews. I love seeing the cast members outside of the canon world that is their show or whatever it is, their movie. And they're interacting with each other as themselves. It's really cool to see them out of that element. It's kind of like seeing a teacher outside of school. Um, actually, that's not a very good metaphor because every time I saw a teacher outside of school, I just hid from them. Um, but I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Do I want to talk about my favorite Malik uh, moments? I'm not even sure. Should I? I should. What are my favorite Malik moments? 
Well, I have a lot of um, Magnus moments that I like, more so than Alec. I love Magnus. He's such a character. I love the idea of um, someone who has lived through centuries and then he, he starts developing feelings. And he's very open and a little bit effeminate, right? Like, he doesn't exactly limit himself or limit his self-expression. And then he meets a guy that not only is in the closet, but he's, like, grumpy all the time, right? And he's so incredibly unhappy. And he projects that through being a rude cunt, but a beautiful rude cunt. And who doesn't love that? Um, and they just work. <laughs> against each other's walls and breaks them and kind of find their way to each other and it's so beautiful like I love I love that shit I love that kind of dynamic and certain certain um, people and certain showrunners or writers whatever they can they can make that work Shadowhunters is one of them the showrunners the writers whatever they the I mean the tension the actors as well the tension that they've created between these two characters is so good like sexual tension my god Am I a fan of sexual tension? No one asked me this. This is just a question in my head. But am I a fan of sexual tension? Um, I'm sorry. Is the sky blue? No, is it really? I don't know. I'm colorblind. That's offensive that you just judged me. I love the scene of Malik coming back from having portaled from Japan. The way that they just talk to each other so casually, like, oh, we were on this date and we did some things. And uh, we very slowly, like the details of that day, trickle into the show through different scenes in different episodes. Like we find out that they were like in the balcony of some sort and kissing. That was because Valentine um, or Magnus when he was uh, cursed and inside the body of Valentine and he was trying to prove that he was Magnus too. Alec, he was, you know, divulging all of this information about their date. And so that was revealed. And then now in the 219 episode, uh, we see a photo booth compilation of pictures of them, and it's from Japan, and it kills me. It kills me. Kills me. It kills me also that they went out to get sushi. Fucking Alec eats sushi. Who knew that? And then he gave. He gave uh, when Alec gave Magnus the charm, that beautiful little charm for luck and protection. Get the fuck out of here, Alec. Like, get the fuck out of here. Also, one of my favorite scenes, and this is going to sound disgusting is when they broke up. When Malik broke up, they were two completely different people from when they started. And you know, your girl not only likes sexual tension, but I'm also a fan of the uh, character development. I loved how that entire scene played out, even though it was so painful. That entire episode, actually, 218, like, broke me in half. The songs that they used in that episode too, I want all of them. And so if anyone here can just list that down for me, again, I'll love you forever. I've been talking for 18 minutes. What is my life? Their very, very first date at the bar, um, a bar for downworlders, they didn't really distinguish that. But yeah, they, uh, it was when Magnus and Alec went to a bar to have a drink and play pool. And, <laughs> and they started going into like their exes, which by the way, this is my, this is purely my opinion, but I really don't think that talking about your exes on the first date is a good thing. Just the way that Alec, like, the blood from his face drained so quickly when he heard that Magnus, the love of his life, has been with 17,000, I was about to say people, not people, 17,000 beings and existences. Can you imagine that? But I love how um, Magnus in the end was kind of like, well, you are who you are, I am what I am, no amount of magic in the world can fix that, so let's just make the best of it. I mean, it does sound kind of like it takes the romance out of it, but at the same time, I 100% understand that. Like, you can't, um, you can't just like, if you like a person, you can't be upset every single time that they don't fit into your ideals, especially if you know that your ideals is something that you built around them and not something that they were to begin with. Excuse me, I'll be right back. Another thing that I like about Malik is that they're funny. There's a lot that you can do with the kind of characters that they are, not just as they play with each other, but even them individually. Magnus especially, like I said, I love the composition of his character. I love the history of it. And there's just so many ways that you can go with that, so many jokes that you could set up for him. Uh, I love Magnus. I think Magnus is awesome. You know, last night, what I did, I looked up his IMDb and his filmography. 
and I just tried to watch all of his movies. <laughs> I think the worst one, I really liked Breathe In, uh, the one that starred uh, Felicity Jones. However, he wasn't, um, he was, he didn't get the, he didn't have the, a starring role in that one, and not only that, he actually played uh, a douchebag. Um, actually, he's far worse than a douchebag. I would call him an enema, uh, that character, so I did not enjoy that very much, although I did enjoy seeing him look like a right ass bitch, like so pretty, but molester, so no, not so much. Do you guys know that he was in the remake for Cabin Fever? Did you guys know that? You probably did, but oh my god, that was torture to get through. I find great entertainment in watching movies that are so bad that they've gone past the point of just being bad, that they're actually just good, you know what I mean? but not really good, they're still bad. <laughs> and the original Cabin Fever was within that category, I felt like. I was very, very entertained. I was thoroughly entertained by Cabin Fever, the original one, the one with the um, writer Strong. Writer Strong? Did I say his name right? Was it, is it Strong? Writer. The guy from Boy Meets World. Did you guys watch Boy Meets World before? I feel like I'm doing stand-up. You ever watch? <laughs> it's a microphone. Did you ever watch Boy Meets World before? Leans on the mic stand. Drinks a little bit of water. Um, and then I also saw... Well, no, I actually didn't. I tried to watch Naomi and Eli's No Kiss List because he's in that and he's a love interest. So there would have been more of him to see in that one. However, when I tried watching it, I just kept falling asleep. So maybe I'll do that some other time. So we're done with that really quickly before I go because I am about to go because I, I feel sorry for you guys now. Uh, thank you again if, if you're still here and watching. Thank you. Uh, if there, again, if there is any other show or whatever that you would like for me to review or react to, feel free to leave that in the comment section below. On top of that, uh, if you like this video, even though it's really shit, maybe you're feeling generous today. I can wait for that like. Press it. And subscribe if you want to subscribe and see more videos like this. <laughs> it's shit. Why would you? Why would you? And, um, ooh, I'm also really excited to see Tariay in his new uh, sexual psycho. Psych. How did he describe It's a psycho thriller, whatever. And I think he's going to be starring in it with Leah, Henrik's girlfriend. Am I correct in this? Everyone, tell me in the comment section below. But yeah, Scum Life, still, I'm still in it. And I am, I'm so excited for that. Um, I'm excited to see all of my boys and like new movies and new projects. Um, I think Daria is a phenomenal actor. And uh, yeah, I just can't wait to watch him evolve uh, on screen. Uh, that said, this has been Noah. Thank you for watching my video if you stayed up until the end. And I will see you guys again sometime in the near future, hopefully. Mic drop.